tomorrow morning. You dive into the behind the scenes world of the iconic American Western television series, Gunsmoke. Starring James Arnass as Marshall Matt Dillon, this show left an indelible mark on U.S. culture with its 20 seasons and over 600 episodes. Arnass wasn't just a tall cowboy hero, he embodied a complex, fair, and honorable lawman. The show's influence extended beyond the screen, impacting fashion trends and moral codes, but even this classic had its share of drama. One of Arnas's co-stars couldn't stand working with him, and we're about to unveil the real reasons why. If you're a Gunsmoke fan, you won't want to miss this. Stay tuned as we delve into the hidden drama that spiced up the set of this legendary series. Gunsmoke, a major American Western drama, left an indelible mark on American culture from 1955 to 1975. This classic series deeply influenced fashion, moral perspectives, and entertainment, becoming a staple for older adults. The show's cast, led by James Arness as Matt Dillon and Milburn Stone as Doc Adams, displayed on-screen camaraderie that resonated with viewers. However, behind the scenes, real-life tensions arose among the cast members. These issues were largely due to differing work ethics and strong personalities. For instance, Arnas, known for his quiet and professional demeanor, often found himself at odds with the more outspoken and demanding Dennis Weaver, who played Chester Good. Despite these challenges, the cast managed to maintain a level of professionalism that kept the show running for over two decades. The on-screen dynamics between the characters added depth to the show's storylines. The relationship between Matt Dillon and Doc Adams, played by Stone, was a cornerstone of the series. Their friendship, built on mutual respect and trust, provided a solid foundation for the show's narrative. Meanwhile, the character of Chester Good, with his distinctive limp and loyalty to Dillon, brought both humor and pathos to the series. In conclusion, Gunsmoke remains a significant part of American television history. Its impact on fashion, moral perspectives, and entertainment is still felt today. Despite the challenges faced by the cast, they managed to create a compelling and enduring series that continues to captivate audiences. Milburn Stone, known for his role as Doc Adams in Gunsmoke, was highly regarded for his professional demeanor on set. In contrast to James Arnass's more relaxed style, Stone maintained a serious and focused attitude. This contrast was particularly noticeable during one incident where Arnass's behavior was criticized by Stone. During the filming of a scene, Arnass was casually eating an ice cream cone while another actor was delivering a close-up line. This unprofessional behavior did not go unnoticed by Stone who openly criticized Arnas for his lack of focus and respect for his fellow actors. Stone's criticism highlighted the importance of professionalism on set and the need for all actors to give their best performance, regardless of the scene's significance. This incident served as a reminder to the cast and crew of Gunsmoke to maintain a high level of professionalism and respect for their craft. Despite this incident, the cast and crew of Gunsmoke worked together to create a classic television series that resonated with audiences for over 20 years. The show's enduring legacy is a testament to the talent and dedication of its cast and crew, including Milburn Stone's unwavering professionalism. Right when you're on trial for your life. Yeah, yeah. Well, it In the mid-1950s, Gunsmoke, the popular Western TV series, faced a significant challenge as ratings began to decline. The network, CBS, decided to take drastic measures and fired the producer, which led to significant changes in the show's direction. This shift in management was not well received by everyone, particularly Milburn Stone, who played the role of Doc Adams. Stone was concerned that the changes would compromise the show's integrity and authenticity, which had been its hallmark since its inception. Despite his reservations, Stone remained committed to the show and its fans. However, he realized that he needed to adapt to the new direction if he wanted to continue being a part of this classic. It was at this point that a fan letter significantly influenced Stone, prompting him to alter his portrayal of Doc Adams. The letter had highlighted the character's lack of warmth and relatability, which had led to a disconnect between the audience and the show. In response to this feedback, Stone made a conscious effort to make Doc Adams more relatable and endearing to the audience. He brought a new level of depth and nuance to the character, making him more human and less caricatured. 
This change had a significant impact on the show's ratings, as fans responded positively to the more relatable and authentic Doc Adams. Stone's willingness to listen to fan feedback and adapt his portrayal of Doc Adams showed his commitment to the show and its audience. It was a testament to the power of fan influence and the importance of staying true to the core values of a show, even in the face of significant changes. This classic Western TV series, Gunsmoke, continued to captivate audiences for many more years, thanks in part to the efforts of Milburn Stone and the show's dedicated fans. Take more than that to make a change in that. Yeah, right. You know, women don't do things in hats. In the early days of Gunsmoke, tension between its two leading stars, James Arnass and Milburn Stone, was palpable. Arnas, a newcomer, played the lead role of Marshal Matt Dillon, while Stone, an experienced actor, portrayed the wise and cantankerous Doc Adams. Their initial encounters were fraught with disagreements, primarily due to Arnas's inexperience and Stone's concerns about the show's direction. However, as time passed, the relationship between Arnas and Stone evolved significantly. They gradually developed mutual respect and a successful collaborative dynamic that sustained the show's long run. This transformation was crucial for Gunsmoke, as it allowed the characters to grow and the storylines to deepen, ultimately captivating audiences for over two decades. Milburn Stone's commitment to authenticity and professionalism played a substantial role in shaping Gunsmoke. He was dedicated to maintaining a focus on the core characters, ensuring that each episode felt grounded and true to life. Stone's unwavering dedication to his craft set high standards for television acting, inspiring fellow cast members and crew alike. Stone's influence extended beyond his on-screen presence. He was known for his meticulous preparation, often arriving on set early to review his lines and familiarize himself with the day's script. This diligent approach earned him the admiration of his peers and contributed to the show's overall success. Moreover, Stone's insistence on authenticity extended to the show's set design and props. He believed that maintaining a sense of realism was essential for the audience to fully immerse themselves in the world of Gunsmoke. As a result, he often collaborated with the show's prop masters and set designers to ensure that every detail was accurate and believable. In conclusion, the evolution of the relationship between James Arnass and Milburn Stone was a critical factor in the longevity and success of Gunsmoke. Stone's unwavering commitment to authenticity and professionalism significantly shaped the show, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. Well, now, wait a minute. Where, where, where are you taking this grub? It's In the 1950s, Gunsmoke became a beloved television series, capturing the hearts of many with its engaging stories and memorable characters. A significant factor in its success was the cast's dedication to fan mail, which served as valuable feedback for the show's development. The actors' interaction with viewers' thoughts and opinions helped keep the characters and plot lines aligned with audience expectations, contributing to its enduring appeal. The contrasting styles of two key figures, William Conrad and James Arnass, played a crucial part in the show's dynamic. Conrad, who had voiced the character for years, brought a strict professionalism to the role while Arnas approached the part with a more casual style. This contrast could have been divisive. However, it ultimately enriched the show and helped it resonate with a broader audience. The clash of acting styles created an interesting tension, allowing the characters to grow and evolve in response to one another. Conrad Stern, an unyielding portrayal of Marshall Dillon on the radio, provided a stark contrast to Arnas's more easygoing interpretation, which helped to humanize the character and make him more relatable to television viewers. This contrast, while potentially contentious, proved to be a key element in the show's long-term success and remains a testament to the power of diverse acting styles and storytelling. Understand that? Nobody kills a Bulo and lives to brag on it. Gunsmoke is a classic TV series that premiered in 1955. The show is set in Dodge City, Kansas during the late 1800s. It follows the adventures of Marshal Matt Dillon, who is responsible for maintaining law and order in the city. The series takes place in a time and place filled with saloons, gunfights, and outlaws. Matt Dillon is a tough and rugged lawman who is always up for a challenge. He is joined by his trusty deputy, Festus Hagen, and the saloon owner, Miss Kitty Russell. Throughout its 20-year run, Gunsmoke received numerous accolades. It was nominated for 19 Emmy Awards and won several times. The show's popularity endured, and it remains one of the longest-running primetime dramas in U.S. television history. 
The characters in Gunsmoke are well-developed and relatable. Matt Dillon is a man of honor and integrity who is dedicated to his job. Festus Hagen is a lovable and quirky deputy who provides comic relief. Miss Kitty Russell is a strong and independent woman who runs her own business. Gunsmoke is a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences today. Its rich storytelling, memorable characters, and historical setting make it a must-watch for any TV enthusiast. We're going to take you back into Dodge, and nobody's ever going to hit you again. I promise you that. The creation of the 1955 TV series Gunsmoke brought together a talented cast that would become synonymous with the Western genre. Each actor's journey to their role was unique, filled with auditions, chemistry tests, and pivotal moments. For the iconic role of Marshal Matt Dillon, the producers sought a commanding presence. They found their man in James Arness, a towering figure at 6'7 tall. Arness had initially turned down the part, but after reconsideration and a successful screen test, he embraced the character that would define his career. The wise and caring Miss Kitty, the owner of the Long Branch Saloon, was portrayed by Amanda Blake. Blake, an experienced actress, was chosen for her ability to balance strength and vulnerability. She became the only actor to appear in all nine seasons of the original Gunsmoke run. The role of Festus Hagen, a lovable, sometimes bumbling deputy, was initially offered to comedian buddy Epsonator, however. Epson was already committed to another series, The Beverly Hillbillies. Ken Curtis, who had previously worked with the Gunsmoke team, stepped in and made Festus his own. The casting of Doc Adams, the town's wise and respected physician, proved to be a challenge. Several actors, including Raymond Massey and Bizzle Rathbone, were considered before Milburn Stone claimed the part. Stone's portrayal of Doc Adams would span an impressive 19 seasons, earning him a posthumous Emmy Award. As for the character of Chester Good, Dennis Weaver's audition left a lasting impression on the producers. His unique walk and endearing personality made him the perfect fit for the loyal, limping sidekick. The casting process for Gunsmoke was a careful, thoughtful journey, resulting in an ensemble that would become a beloved staple of television history. Well, how do you feel about things this morning? You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Dylan, keeping an old... The directors of the 1955 TV series Gunsmoke brought the Wild West to life with a unique vision and style. One of the key directors, Charles Marquis Warren, was a former Pulp Fiction writer who drew on his love for Western stories to create the show's gritty, realistic atmosphere. Warren's approach was to focus on character development and storytelling rather than flashy visuals. He wanted to create a world that felt authentic, where the characters' motivations and actions were driven by their experiences and personalities. To achieve this, he worked closely with the cast and crew encouraging them to bring their own ideas and insights to the table. Another director who made a significant contribution to Gunsmoke was Andrew V. McLaglin. McLaglin was known for his meticulous attention to detail and his ability to create tense, suspenseful scenes. He often used long takes and wide shots to build tension and create a sense of space and distance. Both Warren and McLaglin were influenced by the classic westerns of the 1930s and 1940s, as well as the work of writers like Zane Grey and Louis L'Amour. They sought to create a world that was both familiar and exotic, a place where the rules of civilization were constantly being tested and redefined. The directors also collaborated closely with the show's writers, who were tasked with creating compelling, character-driven stories that would resonate with audiences. Together, they crafted a world that was both timeless and relevant, a place where the struggles and triumphs of the human spirit were on full display. In the end, the director's vision for Gunsmoke was one of authenticity, realism, and emotional depth. They sought to create a world that was both entertaining and thought-provoking, a place where viewers could explore the complexities of human nature and the challenges of life in the Wild West. Through their collaborative efforts, they succeeded in creating a show that has endured for generations, a testament to the power of great storytelling and visionary direction. I guess you know what it means to be thirsty, Marshal. Yeah. In the mid-1950s, a groundbreaking TV series named Gunsmoke made its mark on the Western genre. The show's production was a well-orchestrated effort, with set design playing a crucial role in establishing its distinctive atmosphere the primary setting, Dodge City, was meticulously crafted on a Hollywood soundstage. Art directors, such as George W. Davis and Phil Barber, designed detailed saloons, hotels, and Marshall Matt Dillon's office, complete with period-appropriate furniture and props. To enhance the realism, 
The production team often employed forced perspective techniques, which created an illusion of greater depth and size. This innovative approach was particularly useful in depicting the vastness of the Old West without the constraints of actual locations. As for filming locations, Gunsmoke creatively utilized the surrounding California landscapes to represent the Midwest. For instance, the Iverson Movie Ranch in Chatsworth, California, was frequently used as a stand-in for Dodge City's outskirts. Additionally, the production team ventured to nearby Lone Pine, a popular filming location for Westerns, to capture the breathtaking vistas of the Sierra Nevada mountains. However, filming a weekly series presented logistical challenges. The show's demanding production schedule required efficient planning and execution. To maintain the quality and consistency of the series, the crew relied on a core group of talented actors and technicians. This tight-knit team allowed for seamless collaboration and problem-solving, ensuring the show's success. Despite the constraints of 1950s technology, Gunsmoke pushed the boundaries of television production. The show's innovative use of sound stages, location shooting, and forced perspective techniques contributed to its enduring legacy as a classic Western series. The creation of Gunsmoke's musical score and soundtrack was a collaborative effort that significantly contributed to the show's emotional tone and narrative. Composers and musicians worked diligently to ensure the music complemented the Western series themes and characters. Hiring the right composer was crucial to the success of Gunsmoke's music. RCA Victor, the show's music publisher, selected CBS staff composer Rex Condor as the primary composer for the series. Condor who had previously worked on other TV shows and films, brought his expertise in creating music that enhanced the show's dramatic moments. The score's instrumentation was primarily orchestral, featuring strings, brass, woodwinds, and percussion. Condor's compositions often included a solo instrument, such as a harmonica or guitar, to emphasize the Western setting and create a unique sound. The soundtrack also featured popular songs of the time, which were carefully selected to complement the narrative. For instance, the theme song, Gunsmoke, was performed by the Howard Roberts Quartet and became a hit single in 1956. Condor's compositions were designed to heighten the emotional impact of the scenes. For example, in the episode The Guitar, Condor's score underscores the tension between the characters, while the guitar music performed by the character adds an extra layer of emotional depth. The musicians involved in recording the score were highly skilled and dedicated to their craft. They worked tirelessly to ensure that the music was recorded accurately and with the right emotional tone. Composer and musician Frank Comstock, who worked on the show's music, recalled the intense recording sessions. We would record the music for an entire episode in just a few hours, Comstock said. It was a challenge, but we always managed to get it done. The music of Gunsmoke has left a lasting impact on television history. The show score and soundtrack are still celebrated today for their ability to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the series. Composer Rex Condor's contributions to the show have been recognized as a significant aspect of its success. In conclusion, the creation of Gunsmoke's musical score and soundtrack was a collaborative effort that required the expertise of skilled composers and musicians. The music's ability to complement the narrative and emotional tone of the series has left a lasting impact on television history. Oh, Granby's in there all right, but... But somebody's gone and beat him to death. One of the most iconic scenes in Gunsmoke is from the episode Held Wanted. Matt Dillon, the marshal of Dodge City, confronts a man who has taken hostages in a saloon. The tension is palpable as Matt enters the saloon, his face set in determination. The director, Andrew V. McLaglen, masterfully builds suspense through close-ups of Matt's face and the faces of the hostages. The camera work is tight and intimate, creating a sense of claustrophobia and danger. The use of shadows and low lighting adds to the ominous atmosphere. James Arnass, who plays Matt Dillon, gives a powerful performance in this scene. His stoic exterior hides the turmoil he feels as he tries to negotiate with the hostage taker. There is a moment when Matt's resolve falters, and for a brief moment, we see the fear in his eyes. It's a testament to Arnas's acting skills that he can convey so much emotion with just a look. The impact of this scene on the audience is profound. It's a classic example of the Western showdown trope, but Gunsmoke puts its own spin on it. The audience is on the edge of their seats, wondering if Matt will be able to save the hostages and bring the hostage taker to justice. 
according to McLaglan, we wanted to create a sense of danger and tension that would keep the audience engaged. We wanted them to feel like they were right there in the saloon with Matt. Arnas echoes this sentiment, saying, that scene was all about the tension and the stakes. We wanted the audience to feel like anything could happen. The legacy of Gunsmoke and this iconic scene continues to resonate with audiences today. It's a testament to the power of good storytelling, strong performances, and masterful direction. What are you doing around here so early? Well, you might say I'm here professionally. The 1955 TV series, Gunsmoke, had a profound cultural and social impact, captivating audiences and leaving a lasting mark on popular culture. As one of the longest-running Western television programs in history, Gunsmoke resonated with viewers through its compelling storytelling and complex characters. Set in Dodge City, Kansas, during the late 1800s, Gunsmoke explored themes relevant to its time, such as law and order, morality, and the human condition. The show's protagonist, Marshall Matt Dillon, embodied the values of justice, integrity, and courage, striking a chord with audiences seeking heroes they could admire. Moreover, Gunsmoke contributed to discussions on social issues, including the treatment of Native Americans and the role of women in frontier society. While these topics were often portrayed through a lens of the era, the series did not shy away from addressing them, making it a reflection of the cultural conversations happening at the time. Influencing pop culture, Gunsmoke inspired numerous other Western TV shows and movies, solidifying the genre's popularity in American entertainment. The series also launched the careers of several notable actors, such as James Arnass, Amanda Blake, and Burt Reynolds, who would go on to make their own significant contributions to the industry. In conclusion, Gunsmoke's cultural and social impact can be seen in its enduring legacy, the countless stories it inspired, and the discussions it generated around relevant themes. The series remains a testament to the power of storytelling and the ability of television to shape and reflect our cultural values. A man with his hands up, would you? Just come down to surrender. That's close enough. Gunsmoke, the 1955 TV series, was highly acclaimed during its time and is still considered one of the greatest television shows in history. The show's critical reception was overwhelmingly positive, with reviewers praising its gritty realism, complex characters, and mature themes. In a 1955 review for the New York Times, Jack Gould hailed Gunsmoke as a thoughtful and intelligently conceived Western series that has the earmarks of becoming one of the most distinguished entries in the annals of television. Gould went on to praise the show's admirable cast and authentic atmosphere, noting that Gunsmoke has the makings of a top-notch Western. Audiences also responded enthusiastically to Gunsmoke. The show quickly became one of the most popular programs on television, consistently ranking in the top 10 in the Nielsen ratings. Viewers were drawn to the show's compelling stories, memorable characters, and realistic depiction of life in the Old West. Gunsmoke's success was recognized with numerous awards and nominations. The show received 12 Emmy Award nominations and won three times, including for Outstanding Dramatic Series in 1957. James Arness, who played Marshall Matt Dillon, received two Emmy nominations for his performance and won the award in 1959. The accolades bestowed upon Gunsmoke are a testament to the hard work and dedication of everyone involved in the show's production. The awards and nominations are a source of pride for the cast and crew, as well as a validation of their efforts to create a high-quality television program. Moreover, the critical reception and audience reactions to Gunsmoke have helped to cement its place in television history. The show's enduring popularity is a testament to its timeless appeal and its ability to resonate with audiences across generations. Gunsmoke's legacy continues to inspire and influence contemporary television serving as a reminder of the power of storytelling and the importance of creating memorable characters that audiences can connect with. And it was Williams what done it, me and Merle. Now look here, man. I didn't say nothing like... During the filming of Gunsmoke, the beloved 1955 TV series, the cast and crew faced many challenges and shared memorable moments. For instance, did you know that James Arnas, who played Marshal Matt Dillon, was initially hesitant to take the role? He had just returned from serving in World War II and felt uneasy about playing a heroic character. However, after much persuasion, he agreed to give it a try, and the rest is history. The show's creator, Norman MacDonald, was known for his meticulous attention to detail. He once spent an entire day searching for the perfect tree branch for an actor to use as a prop. His dedication paid off, 
as Gunsmoke became one of the longest-running TV shows in history. Another interesting anecdote involves Amanda Blake, who played Miss Kitty Russell. She was a passionate animal lover and often brought her dogs to the set. One day, her dog got loose and ran around the studio, causing quite a commotion. Fortunately, the crew was able to catch the dog without any incidents. During the filming of one episode, a real-life train was used for a scene. The crew had to wait for hours until the train arrived, causing delays in the shooting schedule. To pass the time, the cast and crew played cards and told stories, creating a sense of camaraderie that lasted throughout the series. Despite the long hours and occasional challenges, the cast and crew of Gunsmoke remained dedicated to their work. They knew they were creating something special, and their passion for the show shines through in every episode. So, the next time you watch Gunsmoke, remember these behind-the-scenes anecdotes and appreciate the hard work and dedication that went into making this iconic TV series. Are you going to let them shoot me down? Nobody's going to get shot down. Chester. Gunsmoke, a 1950s TV series, holds a significant place in film history. As one of the longest-running primetime dramas in American television, it set new standards for storytelling and character development. The show's depiction of the Old West was groundbreaking, eschewing the romanticized versions of the time for a more gritty and realistic portrayal. The influence of Gunsmoke extends beyond its initial run. It paved the way for future filmmaking, particularly in the Western genre. Shows like Deadwood and Longmire owe much to Gunsmoke's innovative storytelling and character development. The series also inspired a new generation of filmmakers who grew up watching it, influencing their approach to narrative and visual style. Gunsmoke's impact is also evident in subsequent works it inspired. The show's protagonist, Marshall Matt Dillon, became an archetype for the strong, silent lawman, a character that has appeared in countless films and TV shows since. The series also popularized the anthology format, with each episode telling a self-contained story, a format that has been widely adopted in television. In conclusion, Gunsmoke's legacy and influence are undeniable. Its innovative storytelling, gritty realism, and influential characters have left a lasting mark on the film industry. Did Gunsmoke, the iconic 1955 TV series, leave a lasting impression on you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories about this groundbreaking show. How did this classic Western influence your perspective on cinema? Perhaps it inspired your taste in films or even sparked an interest in acting. Share your thoughts with us and our community of cinema enthusiasts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating explorations of the cinematic world. Your engagement helps us create a vibrant, bustling space for film lovers of all ages. So, whether you're reminiscing about your favorite episode or reflecting on the show's cultural significance, we can't wait to hear from you. Let's keep the conversation going and celebrate the enduring legacy of Gunsmoke together.